Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's been a few days since I've done any painting. I've got a conference workshop coming up in two weeks and trying to get prepared for that and moving into a new house and everything else. I had my sister visit for the weekend from Tennessee and she went back Monday, took her back to the airport. So just had a lot going on. Um, you know how that goes. Sometimes life just comes in spurts and sometimes there's just a lot going on at one time and that's been the case for me. So I've been on a roll here lately where I've been using Deco Art Metallics and trying to come up with a painting for my master bathroom and I've done several that were beautiful and the couple of them turned out great and they ended up going in my hall bath so I'm still trying for the right color combination for my master bathroom. So today I'm going to be pouring on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. All the colors are pretty much deco art. Uh, still using the Peacock Pearl with just a hint of green in it. And this is the Rich Espresso with the little antique bronze. The antique bronze comes in an 8 ounce container instead of a 2 ounce bottle. It might come in the 2 ounce bottle, but that's the way I get it is in 8 ounce tubs. And here's the Rich Espresso, which is a beautiful bronzy golden color. The, uh, the copper is super red, so I've toned it down a little bit with some gold, hopefully so it's not quite as reddish as it has been. I've got my um, silver and pewter mixed together. The silver is quite pale and the pewter is kind of dark. It's beautiful though. It's got a bluish cast even. It's, it's really gorgeous. So I have mostly silver with some pewter mixed in with that. And I decided to leave out the milk paint totally. I don't want any white in it. And I've got a metallic gold it's a different brand. It's got some glitter in it. I like it because sometimes it gets really thin and it kind of spreads out through the paint and you see that shimmer of the glitter. This is the actual wall color in the bathroom which is a warm charcoal gray color. So, But you can see how warm it is compared to the silver pewter. It's got a lot more brown in it. I have some of the just regular uh, metallic gold of Deco Art. It's got a little of the sparkly in it, but that's not the 24 karat gold, it's just the regular gold. And I mixed up this color between white and orange and a little brown. This is in my tile of the floor. The floor tile is kind of uh, a peachy color with rusty tones and browns and grays. So that's, this is basically my lightest color besides the pale metallic gold that has some glitter in it. So I decided not to use any white or a cream color. I don't want any light colors. So this is my lightest pretty much. And I'm going to do the same method that I've been doing in the other paintings that I've done. The uh, tree ring pour and I do three puddles. So I've got five ounce cups. I'm going to fill these to the brim and then I'm probably going to put a little extra paint on the edges just to make sure I have enough because it really takes about 14 or 15 ounces of paint to cover a 20 by 20 inch canvas. Then you need a little bit for the sides as well. So I'm going to layer these into a cup first. Whatever you put in the cup first will be the last thing to come out on a tree ring pour. That totally makes sense. You put it in first, it's going to come out last. So I want probably this beautiful teal metallic color. And 
and I'm going to just pour down the side and layer and I'm going to put the wall color I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, regular metallic gold finish that up that was the end of a cup this peachy color it's almost like an adobe peach color like a adobe terracotta I'm just going to basically put one one layer of that and that's kind of sinking and that's okay I don't care then I'm going to put the copper right after that because if anything I want it to go um, a little deeper as opposed to lighter so therefore the copper I don't have OGX in any of the colors except for this does because I can see it as it lays. I've, it's got the little cells going on. I had a few colors from a paint party. You can see the cells. So that I do have OGX in that and I think some in this silver pewter combination. I still don't have my metallic gold with the glitter yet. I definitely want that and I want I want the uh, rich espresso too so I'm just going to pour those right into that cup that way so this is going to fill these cups up totally I'm not pouring it slow I'm not trying to be meticulous about it you can even, you know, kind of move and come back. Wow, that metallic turquoise color is so beautiful. I want to make sure my turquoise is closer to the middle and doesn't get poured off. So that's why I let I let it kind of come this way. So I'm gonna put down. I think what I'll do is I'll just put a little gray because that's what I have a lot of, and I don't care if it gets tilted off because that's the wall color. And that beautiful turquoise just I call it turquoise it's called peacock pearl but you know it looks like turquoise so and then just going to go through to kind of break up the shapes a bit to make it a little bit more random let me go ahead and I'll just heat it real quick just to get rid of air bubbles and I don't think I mentioned, but the paint recipe is one-to-one -one paint to flow troll, latex-based. Make sure it's latex-based. And with metallics, you have to add water. It is, metallics are heavier and thicker because they're more pigmented and the metallics are in them. So you've got to, uh, to add some water to get it to the right consistency. So I'm just going to start tilting. 
I'm not going to quite take it off the canvas yet, I don't think. So my bathroom doesn't have any of the peacock, pearl, teal, turquoise color, but my bedroom does. So that's why I included it in my color choices. So this all has to do with the decor. And I'm just going through one more time before I tilt off because, and you can't do that too much because things will turn to mud, but I wanted to, again, separate the shapes a bit. I think I'll just start on this corner. Sometimes when you're working with a bigger canvas, it's kind of hard to catch that paint. Trying to keep that turquoise on there. I tried adding just metallic gold last time to add some warmth to the equation, and it did not add warmth, so that's why I decided to put the peach color in to get that warmth and it would be a great contrast against the turquoise color. And I'm okay if this looks linear, that's totally okay with me. I'm just going to see if I can distribute that turquoise color a bit more. And if I can't, I can't. I don't want to lose it though off this edge. But I'm loving it. I'm loving the turquoise, as always. It's so beautiful. I love the linear patterns, especially in this area. I may not I may not work with this one too much as far as changing it. But I am gonna just do a few things. I'm taking my leftovers from my three little cups. Just making that 
look a little bit more random. Okay, I got the, the turquoise distributed, you know, around in different places, so I'm pretty satisfied with that, and um, I, think, I think I may call it done. I think I'm going to cover up some of this right here. A little muddyish. Just add a little silver, uh, um, metallic gold and copper. So the pewter color didn't show up as much, maybe because I have that warm gray that's here showing up kind of as a muddy brown, but that's, like I said, that's the wall color, so that should work with the wall pretty well. So I think I've got some big cells popping up. And I didn't really want cells, but I will take them. Like I said, there was some OGX left in some colors, and if you have OGX in your paints, you're gonna you're gonna have cells regardless. So there's not a whole lot I can do about that. spot on that canvas right there. Sometimes the silicone or OGX goes down to the surface of the canvas and you can see the canvas and you don't want that. So just trying to make sure that everything is covered well. Turn off the overhead spotlights that I have just so you don't have the shine on it on the top but this gives you a truer sense of the color.
very earthy and I love the pop of that teal peacock pearl against the orange tones. They're, you know, blue and orange are complementary colors, so they work well against each other. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my channel with any of your friends, too, if they're looking for some acrylic pours and you think they might be interested, I'd love for you to share the video with them. If you're a subscriber, click on the bell in the bottom right, and that will give you notifications when I post new videos. Check out all the links below the video where it says Show More on your computer or the down arrow on your mobile device. And there'll be a link for my Amazon recommendations for all the products that I use, plus lots more. And there's my Facebook group if you'd like to come over and join me there and join a group of about 10,000 people who post beautiful pictures and are very inspiring and encouraging with each other. It's a very uplifting group and I'd like to keep it that way. Come join us there. And I have my uh, website that you can always find my art for sale. There's always a free download on the home page. It's the uh, cat and the pumpkin picture right now for the month of October. Also, if you will, um, check out my Patreon page or if you'd like to make a donation on PayPal, that would be wonderful. I would greatly appreciate any help that I can get. I'm always making new videos and it does cost some money to make these videos for you. So thank you so much for watching and following my journey and I will keep posting fresh content for you. And I also have my online platform below where, and the Thinkific where it says embrace your creative spirit. There I teach classes on how to paint traditionally with brushes for the most part. For those that do not know how to uh, paint with acrylics, I can teach you from start to finish how to do a painting. I've got at least 10 or 11 classes there that you should check out and I constantly add two classes a month for that. Those cost $35, and there's a membership if you want to save a little money and get access to the videos every month, two at a time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on your next video that you watch for me. And you have a fabulous day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.